Hey, so in this video, we're going to talk about why gamers tilt their keyboards and whether or not it's actually a good strategy. So let's get right into it. So first, gaming with a tilted keyboard. Why is this a thing? This is actually kind of a debate in the gaming community. The hardcore gamers seem to think that tilting their keyboard is actually a better strategy for uh, having an advantage over their opponents. And the more casual gamers think that they should have their keyboard in the most comfortable position rather than the most advantage, uh, advantageous position. So... There are definitely some benefits into having your keyboard tilted, but there are also some drawbacks, but there's also alternatives. So we're going to have a lot of discussion in this video today, so let's get right into it. Uh, so first off, why do gamers tilt their keyboards? So there are a few reasons why. It could be out of comfort, or it could be out of thinking outside of the box during like professional tournaments or something, when they're, they're in a really cramped space, or even at their own house if they have a really cramped space to game. You have to get creative so that you can uh, play the game. You also might be using it because they really think that they have an advantage over the other people. It also could just be a habit that they formed when they were at one of these tournaments. Even if they have a big desk, you know, they could just, they could get into the habit of having their keyboard tilted. Uh, so honestly though, the biggest reason as to why keyboards are tilted is that it is more comfortable. A lot of gamers who use the tilted keyboard actually say that even if they had a really big desk to play on, they would still t tilt their keyboard because they believe it is more comfortable. But not only is it comfortable, there are actually really, there are a lot of good advantages that come with tilting the keyboard. And if you want to be a competitive gamer, you need every advantage you can get. But if you're casual, then maybe you're more concerned about why it's bad because you, maybe you don't want to do it if it's just for the advantages, you know. Um, so first off, what is pro gaming and esports? So if you're a casual gamer, you're probably not too concerned about you know, maximizing your advantage just there to play the game. You know, you're not trying to win huge competitions or whatever. You're just trying to hang out with your friends and play a couple of video games. But in the 2000s, gaming, uh, its popularity increased a lot, and a lot of people were willing to watch other people play and compete at really high levels against some of the best gamers. And now in the 2010s, it's absolutely... In the 2010s, it absolutely exploded. Now in the 2020s, I expect it to go even higher. But... Uh, it's actually an official competitive event that people actually show up and watch and pay to watch to, uh, you know, be a part of these big things. You know, there's just like football, basketball, hockey, baseball, any of these other huge sports, people actually like enjoy watching these events and partaking in them uh, can actually give you really big status. So why does this matter? Because gaming is now a sport, you know, people are associated with huge brands, earning giant sponsorships and winning tournaments, winning hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars in these tournaments. So, you know, you, people want to have the best advantage in these because they're treating it as a sport. They want to win. They want to, uh, you know, stake a name for themselves in this platform that they have now. That now that sports is, esports is now like really up there. So, but you can't just practice a lot. It takes hours and hours of practice and a lot of tedious practice and all these things to get up to where you are. But you also need to be creative. You know, you know, in football you have your playbook and basketball you have uh, your playbook. I guess. Uh, but yeah, you have your strategy that you play in all these sports on the field. So when you're talking about esports, you, you also have strategies. You also have tricks that you want to use to give yourself an advantage. So if you're not a pro gamer, you probably don't even care if it's tilted or not. Maybe you're just watching this out of uh, curiosity. Uh, but you can still use some of these cool tricks to give yourself a, a bit of a competitive edge in your casual gamings. You know, to to impress your friends or maybe get a couple extra wins there. Uh, but just because you see it on TV doesn't mean it's always a good thing. So I'm about to talk to you why a uh, tilted keyboard is probably a good idea and why it might not be a good idea and also some alternatives. So the benefits include maximizing your space. You can reach more keys with just your one hand and you have less strain on your wrist. So, I mean, it's pretty, it sounds pretty promising. Uh, so you can maximize your space. If you have a small room or a small desk, you know, you don't have to take up that much space. And so you can, you'll be, be able to game how you want to game without taking up a huge amount of space. Also, it just makes sense to angle them out of the way, you know? And when you're playing an FPS game like Fortnite, CSGO, or PUBG, or something like that, or it requires a lot of rapid mouse movement. If you're crammed up in a little desk with a really big keyboard, you don't have a lot of space to move your mouse. So if you tilt it, you know, you have a lot of space to move your mouse. Uh, if you can't move your mouse, you won't win the game, you know, because it's, it's imperative. Uh, so now, you, also, you can reach more keys with one hand. So maybe if you're playing Fortnite or something and you want to toggle your build or whatever, you can uh, you can reach your build uh, buttons with a really not as much strain on your hand because of the tilt of the keyboard, you can reach it really easily. Um, 
when you tilt your keyboard, it makes it a lot easier to reach multiple keys with one hand. It actually makes it a lot easier to hit control button, which is a common button used in gaming. And that's underneath the shift button. So it's usually like kind of hard to get you to. You have to like strain your pinky. It's not the greatest. Uh, next, less strain on your wrist. It's not proven. It's pretty debatable. But a lot of people say it's better for your wrist if the keyboard is tilted. It's The argument is if, that the keys are not aligned perfectly straight. Therefore, the keyboard shouldn't be positioned straight either. But if you see a player using the keyboard sideways, it kind of looks painful. Even if it were proven to be bad posture, do you think a pro gamer would care though? Most of them are prone to injuries later on later because they're hunched over at their desk gaming like that. <laughs> and their heads are sticking out looking like a turtle. Uh, but, so, I basically already said why you probably shouldn't tilt your keyboard because it's just bad posture and whatnot. But if you're a pro gamer, you don't care. You know, it's, it's honestly like any other sport like football or basketball or any of these like on the field sports, you know, you're putting your body out on the line because you want to win, you know, so when you're a professional gamer, you know, as long as you're getting the wins, you don't really care about the toll you do on your body at that moment in time, you know, it might come later on the line, but right now you're in it to win it. So these pro gamers don't care. But if you're a casual gamer and you're just trying to, you know, up your game a little bit just for fun, you know, I, it probably might be a good idea to tilt your keyboard, but I would, I would be cautious, you know, be aware of how much you're doing it. I don't know if it'll cause any serious injury or anything, but it'll probably make your hand sore or something. So you might want to, you know, use it with caution. Uh, but there, all are there are a lot of alternatives to tilting your keyboard. You know, you don't have to have it straight on or tilted. You can do a lot of things. You can have a bigger desk if you want to keep it straight on so that you can have room for your mouse and have room for your keyboard and all in one. So that's always an option. Uh, that's probably the most obvious one. Uh, next one, you might want to get a keyboard that doesn't have a number pad on it so you get your more space, essentially. So if you're in a little bit of a cramped situation, you can't have a bigger desk and your mouse isn't moving and you have a keyboard that has a number pad on it, go out and buy a keyboard that doesn't have a number pad on it because essentially the number pad is obsolete since you have the numbers on top of your keyboard. Uh, but a lot of people do like to use those for macros and things like that, so maybe not. And I think macros are a fine line with cheating, but, you know... That's up to you, to be honest. Uh, next, you can get a half keyboard. Now, this is something that I've actually looked into a couple times. It seems pretty cool. You know, honestly, it's essentially specifically for gaming. Now, you can uh, program it to, like, mimic the other half of the keyboard. But this is this is a regular keyboard just cut in half. And mainly all the things they use for gaming. You got your WASD, your shift, your control, all these things. You know, it's an interesting invention by Edgar. It's Edgar Matthias. It is a fully... QWERTY keyboard split through the middle. You can hold the space button to change the software Software, if you want to mimic the right side, but you know, if you're usually just using this for gaming, you know, there's not really that big of a difference. So it's actually really cool because if you're playing a game on a small desk, you won't need to tilt your large keyboard. You can just have your little gaming keyboard right there on the side. So everything actually works out pretty nice there. It's actually really perfect. So to summarize, the main reason gamers tilt the keyboard is to have an advantage. There are a lot of advantages and the only downside that i can actually really think of is the bad posture slash strain that it puts on your wrist but most gamers probably don't care about this especially professionals as i said they're in it to win it they don't care about what they're doing to their body as long as they're getting <laughs> epic wins i guess <laughs> so there are other reasons why you play with your keyboard sideways such as having limited space or force of habit when you're already like into it so maybe some people who aren't even professional gamers just do it out of habit so they're probably not hurting themselves that much but the only downside i can think of is the posture there are also alternatives you can get a bigger desk or a keyboard without the number pad or even a half keyboard but if you're on a tight budget it's 100 percent free to tilt your keyboard a little bit i think that's probably the way to go here uh rather than buying a new product so in conclusion you no know, gamers tilt the keyboard for comfort for a greater advantage and to win that's basically it so yeah if you have any more uh, questions on anything keyboard related, you want to go check out some articles, you want to learn more about these, go check out keyboardkings.com. The link to the article uh, discussed in this video will be linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.